Hey, Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, today I'm continuing from my last video, which was showing you how to draw boxes. Go and click here to see more about that. And I'm turning a box today into a microwave oven. Actually, I'm going to start about here. This is going to be my down vertical kind of line. And I'm trying to think how big I want it to be. So I think that's going to be about the size of the door. So I'm going to continue that sideways a little bit like that for the control panel, like that. And then we want the box to go back like that. And as I say, you know, if you're <laughs> not sure about drawing boxes, go and see that video and it'll explain kind of <laughs> a bit more about drawing boxes. And just you know, so many man-made things are built around a box shape that if you really understand how to draw boxes really, really easily, you'll find drawing so many other things will become a lot easier too. So we kind of, this is this is a rectangle at the front, but it's not because it's just mm, mm, pushed up a little bit. So that's, that's a rhombus. This is mm, pushed that way. That's a rhombus as well. And then we need to take that angle back uh, a little bit more of an angle there, I think, like that. So the top of this microwave here is also a rectangle that's been squashed that way. And now I'm just going to ink in the box. And while I'm doing that, why not click the subscribe button and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy every week for lots more drawing. There we have the box, and now I'm going to draw a line down there. So this is the door on this side and the control panel on that side. When you are sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase all those pencil lines. So the door on this side comes down there, and this is going to want to come back that little way. And then we'll draw a line across there to connect up. So that is the door. And then here we're going to want to have the control panel. So this is just kind of fitting in within the lines and the squares and the things that we've got there already and then also we need down here a big push button thing for you you press that and boing, the door opens now here we have the LCD panel up at the top while I just kind of shade that in this I live in England myself but I live right on the Welsh border so the United Kingdom is made up of um, four countries that's Northern Ireland Scotland, England and Wales. So I live right on the border of Wales and they have a very poetic language in, <laughs> in Wales, the language of Welsh. And there they call a microwave a popty ping. And popty means kind of a bakery or a cooking thing. And ping is obviously when, when the microwave is finished cooking, which is a lovely, wonderful, poetic kind of way of describing a microwave. Popty ping. Uh, right, so this is going to be kind of the window in the door, and that wants to come across to about there and there. Good, so I'm going to bring the window down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to curve it slightly on the top and curve it slightly on the bottom. And then here we're going to want um, the, the setting buttons like turbo reheat defrost, maximum power, that kind of thing. But you don't need to write all those in. You can just cut the little wiggles and squiggles like that. And then they have quite tall feet, don't they? So there's a kind of a foot there and a foot there. And that's because they, um, they need the airflow underneath it. So they need to be raised off the table a little bit. And so we can put a bit of shadow in there like that. We're going to have the back wall of the, the work surface that it's standing on there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of shadow in here just to kind of put it on the table. And then that will come around the back there a little bit too. And then the window is usually quite dark. So what I'm going to do is lots and lots of lines and try and keep them as close together so that you get an even is, is it a pattern or is it a shade or whatever? I know I had somebody ask me recently, what do you call this style of drawing? It's kind of pen and ink. I haven't done any cross hatching, but so I suppose this is a kind of hatching or this is using lines to create shade and you know darkness and light. And this is a little exercise you can just do. Just draw lots of little squares and just practice doing this. This is a really good kind of warm up practice to 
to get your sort of hand-eye coordination going. And I'm finding it really difficult because I'm squashed uh, uh, away from the camera. So I, you know, I'm not sitting like I normally would do if I was doing something like this. So this is you know, an extra difficult kind of um, exercise for me to do here at the moment. But try and keep the lines all equally distant. So what we're going to imagine is that the uh, the turntable is inside there like that. And we don't need to do much, so we're going to sort of cross hatch a little bit like that. This is very awkward for me now. Uh, so I'm going to put some more hatching. So this is crossing in a different direction, so we're cross hatching now. And when I get to about here, I'm going to make it a bit longer and then join right the way across and then maybe a little bit back like that as well. And then maybe we could add a little bit more just up. This is sort of triple hatching really <laughs> as you go across like that. And maybe just a bit more on the turntable there as well. Maybe add a little bit more around the bottom. And that is where I am going to leave it alone. There you go. How to draw a microwave made out of a box. Well, thanks for watching. Please like this video and make sure you are subscribed to the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. You can support my videos by following me on my Patreon page. Put your drawing idea requests in the comments box below and remember to keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.